Hello everyone, welcome to another edition of Daily Football Mindness. This is Usman. Today we will be doing uh, the review of the top 5 uh, European leagues. Uh, um, make sure that you watch uh, the video until the very end because we'll be giving a uh, star rating out of 5 stars uh, to each league. So make sure that you watch uh, the video until the very end so that uh, you know how much rating I gave uh, to each league. Obviously, we'll discuss the league, uh, all, the, all the leagues as well. Uh, make sure that you subscribe to the channel uh, because uh, we'll be doing um, the preview and the live watch along of uh, the Champions League final between Manchester City and uh, Chelsea. So, without any delay, let's get started. So, first of all, we will do the review of uh, the, one of the biggest leagues uh, in the world, which is English Premier League. Let's have a look at the table first. Uh, um, it's uh, Manchester City that won the key comfortably. Manchester United on the second position with 74 points. Liverpool with 69 position uh, points in the third position. Chelsea in the fourth. So, these are the four teams that make into the uh, into uh, the, that basically qualified for the, the Champions League. Uh, Leicester City and West Ham qualified for the Europa League. So that is the situation of the table uh, at, the, at the end of the season. So let's uh, quickly discuss uh, uh, the teams one by one. So first of all, Manchester City, they uh, basically finished with 86 points uh, at the end of the day. They, have a, they are having a great season. They had a great season. They are in the Champions League semi-final. Uh, final, they won the, the League Cup and they, they won the league comfortably with the 86 points. To begin with, uh, it was a sloppy start, but, at the end, but they had a good uh, string of uh, uh, wins in between and that was enough for them to uh, basically win the league uh, comfortably. On the second position, uh, it was Manchester United, 74 points. I mean, uh, it was not a great season, it was not a poor season, it was just an okay season for Manchester United. A club like Manchester United should be fighting uh, for uh, the Premier League title and I hope that this this is exactly what they are going to do uh, in the next season and they should close the gap which is 12 points and which is huge in my opinion. So, uh, I'm expecting a better season next time around from Manchester United. On third spot, Liverpool with 69 points. Uh, uh, to be honest, uh, uh, it was a very poor start uh, for Liverpool and I must admit there were a lot of injuries uh, for Liverpool throughout the season. I mean, they are defending, they were defending champions. Obviously, they wanted to do better, they wanted to defend the title. Uh, but um, I think the injuries was uh, the main concern for them and they were really str struggling uh, five games uh, back uh, to make into the top four, but uh, all credit to Liverpool. Um, I mean, you can see that in the last, uh, I mean, they, in the last five games, they won all the five games. Uh, and um, considering the injuries, I think uh, finishing on the third spot, considering uh, the position they were in in the last, before the last uh, five, six games, I mean, I think it's a, uh, I mean, they would be happy in my opinion uh, to finish three above Chelsea. So, speaking of Chelsea, Chelsea are in the fourth position with 67 points. Uh, uh, Chelsea under Frank Lampard was really struggling ever since uh, Tuchel uh, basically took over. Um, I mean, uh, they were uh, looking comfortable to make it into the top four, uh, but at the end of the day, they lost uh, two games out of three, last three games, and they were struggling on the last day. They also lost against Aston Villa, but uh, they were lucky that Leicester City at the same time also lost against Spurs and they made into the top four. Speaking about Leicester City, I mean, they have been uh, a top five finish is not a bad finish considering uh, considering uh, the budget of uh, the club, uh, the amount of uh, money they spent. Uh, but uh, I think Leicester City would be the most disappointed team, uh, in my opinion. Last year around, they also missed on the top four uh, position. They were very comfortable throughout the season in the sa and same is the case uh, this season around as well. They were looking very comfortable finishing the top four, but at the end of the day, they miss out on the top four spot. They would be disappointed. At the same time, they would be content because they won FA Cup and they would be playing Europa League. So, I really wanted them to finish top four, but at the end of the day, they miss out on top four and they would be disappointed. West Ham, I mean, I mean, Great, great uh, achievement uh, from uh, West Ham in my opinion. Uh, ever, I think last season, uh, uh, David Moyes took over. They were fighting for relegation. Yeah? I think they finished 17th and uh, this season around, they basically finished 6th, which is, in my opinion, very impressive from Davis, uh, David Moyes uh, men and uh, they would be really happy to finish uh, in top 6 and qualify for the Europa League. 
uh, in the seventh position, Tottenham. Spurs would be really, really disappointed considering the team they have. Uh, they have Harry Kane, who finished uh, the top scorer of uh, the Premier League this season. They had Jose Mourinho, who was sacked, uh, 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 I think, uh, five, six games ago. So I think uh, they would be really disappointed. I really think that their squad is better than uh, the seventh position that they are on right now. So it's uh, ever since I think uh, Pochettino left, uh, it's. Uh, uh, it's it's a downhill um, curve for them, in my opinion, and there is a huge uh, task ahead for Daniel Levy uh, to make sure that uh, they hire a better manager and uh, a good manager. And obviously, they have to convince Harry Kane to stay. So, I mean, I think it's uh, it's going to be a huge summer for uh, Spurs, and they have to do a lot of work. Arsenal had a really poor season uh, um, uh, uh, under Arteta. In my opinion, uh, they had a good run of game at the end uh, to make it to, I mean, to make it uh, to the eighth position. Otherwise, they were really struggling. So, really poor, poor uh, season from Arsenal. I think their worst finish uh, ever since um, uh, Wenger left. So, uh, a lot of work to do for Arsenal. They have to make some signings to basically. Uh, I think their first target next season would be to make it to uh, the top uh, six and then maybe try to make, maybe get into the top four. But be really tough. Uh, they need uh, offensive uh, reinforce, uh, reinforcement as well as, 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 well as uh, defensive reinforcement, in my opinion. Leeds United, uh, I mean, they were uh, under Bielsa. Uh, they they got uh, promoted last season and uh, finished to finish at number nine, which is really impressive, in my opinion. Everton, uh, during the first 10 games, they were looking uh, uh, they were really looking impressive. They were on the top of the table under Car- uh, Carlo Ancelotti. They would be really disappointed to finish 10th and they would be really hoping to improve. So, this was the situation of the table. If you ask me, let's, let's basically just try to give them the rating. I would give three star uh, to this uh, Premier League season. And the reason for that is that uh, Manchester City won comfortably. And they won with 86 points. So if I compare it with the last three seasons, it was more than plus 95 plus points. So in my opinion, it was a bit disappointing that uh, the team winning uh, won with 86 points. But this is not only the disappointment. Uh, the disappointment is that the, uh, that the, fin- uh, the team that finished second uh, finished uh, 12 points behind uh, the league leaders. And then you have Liverpool on 69, 67, 66 points. So, in my opinion, uh, overall, uh, uh, to to begin with, the Premier League was not that competitive. Uh, uh, No team was uh, consistent to start with. And then it was uh, Manchester City that had a consistent run and eventually won the league. So, I am hoping a bit more competition uh, next time around. The reason for giving three stars is that uh, there was no relegation battle. I mean, the three teams, uh, Fulham, West Brom and Sheffield, uh, were, uh, uh, were, uh, were relegated very comfortably. Uh, there was no competition uh, for the Premier League title, and uh, they have, uh, the only competition why I'm giving I gave it uh, three stars uh, is because uh, there was a very I mean there was excitement until the very end uh, regarding the top four finish. So that's why I have given it three stars, and that was Premier League. Now let's move uh, towards uh, the Bundesliga. I mean, let's have a look at the, the table. No surprises here. Uh, uh, Bayern Munich uh, winning the league comfortably uh, on the second spot. Is right, uh, with Leipzig. Leipzig gave a little bit of competition to Bayern Munich uh, in the middle of the season, uh, and since then they fell apart. So they finished second. Dortmund on third, and Wolfsburg also making it to the Champions League spot. So I would give uh, this league a two-star rating uh, because. Because uh, as we always know that uh, there is no competition at all, Bayern Munich has always won the league comfortably. The only interesting thing, in my opinion, was uh, uh, to see if uh, Dortmund uh, make, makes it into the top four or not, which they eventually did. And the reason for me uh, giving two star rating um, uh, to this league is only because I would have gone with one star rating. But the only reason is that uh, that uh, because of uh, uh, Erling Haaland and Lewandowski. I mean, great season, great player. I mean, breaking uh, the record of. Um, Muller scoring 41 goals and that is amazing. So that was uh, Bundesliga two-star rating. Let's now move uh, uh, towards um, the French League, League One. 
that was actually interesting in my opinion you can see uh, the table on your screen lille winning the french league so that is the most interesting part with 83 points psg on second spot psg did not win the league which is a big news and they finished with 82 points just one point behind lille monaco uh, finished on the, in the third spot and lyon finished uh, with 76 points um, on the fourth spot so i would personally give it a 3 a 3 star and the reason for that is uh, the top four teams so you can see that how close the title race was uh, i mean all the teams i think uh, was uh, involved uh, in the last five games in the title race lille psg monaco and lyon and and in the last game week uh, it was uh, just uh, i mean just one point difference between psg and lille and everyone for the first time after so many years everyone was watching the french league in the last game week and eventually it was lille uh, who won the league so that's why i'm giving because of the top four because of the title race uh, that's why i am giving three stars uh, to the french league So moving forward now we will discuss about uh, uh, the Italian league uh, so let's have a look at the table as always Inter Milan finished uh, top of the league and won the Italian league with 91 points and that was really impressive uh, from Inter Milan AC Milan on second spot with 79 points Atalanta with 78 points uh, Juventus uh, uh, finishing just finishing in the top four with 78 points and Napoli on the other hand just missing out on the Champions League spot with 77 points and Lazio miss, making into the Europa League spot as well so I would give I would personally give uh, uh, three and a half star because uh, the league was very impressive. I mean, the league was uh, was boring in the last um, uh, eight years or so. I mean, Juventus I think won eight uh, league titles on a row, so I think nobody was uh, watching at them. But I think uh, the league got interesting uh, ever since Cristiano Cristiano Ronaldo uh, was uh, the part of I think three years back uh, he became the part of uh, uh, the Italian league, uh, and uh, obviously the league got exciting. last year was also exciting inter milan was there uh, fighting for uh, the league title but eventually uh, juventus won it uh, the reason why i gave uh, three and a half, half star because uh, most of part of the season ac milan was on the top in the first uh, during the first half of the season uh, ac milan was on the top of uh, the league uh, juventus was also fighting for it so most part of the season uh, the the title race was uh, competitive and then eventually it was inter milan uh, the wheels uh, fell off for ac Milan and Inter Milan eventually won it comfortably with 91 points. Uh, but another reason that I gave uh, three and a half star is because of uh, the Champions League uh, competition, the Champions League spot, the top four finish uh, uh, battle was very impressive this time around and went down to the wire in the last game week. Uh, so. Uh, it was really it was really interesting in the last game week it was Mil- milan against atlanta uh, milan won against atlanta in the last game week to make it to the top four in the second atlanta was comfortable uh, going to the last game week because of the goal difference and they finished third uh, juventus uh, and interestingly pirlo i mean had a very uh, juventus had a really poor season throughout but at the end of the day it would be little bit satisfied uh, uh, winning the coppa italia and also and also making to the uh, top four as well uh, the uh, the breaking news was that uh, uh, that ronaldo was on bench for the last game that uh, uh, that juventus won comfortably 4-1 so that would be interesting to see in the next season how if whether ronaldo stays at uh, at juventus or not napoli i think would be really really disappointed they had to win they had a home game and uh, they had to just had to win um, even if the juventus won the last game they just had to win that game and make it to the top four however they drew uh, the game and uh, juventus uh, made it to the top four so in my opinion 3.5 star very interesting uh, league and i'm hoping for a great competition in the next season as well So now let's move uh, to La Liga. So I have saved best for the last. Let's have a look at a quick look at the table for it was Atletico Madrid that won the league. Congratulations con- congratulations uh, to Atletico Madrid. They won the league with 86 points. It was Real Madrid in the second spot with 84 points. Barcelona finishing finishing third with 79 points and Sevilla on fourth with 77 points. Uh, Real Sociedad and Real Betis basically made it to the Europa League spots. Um, so let's discuss about the rating so i would give four stars out of five uh, to la liga and uh, let me explain why four stars uh, for uh, la liga 
first of all uh, it, uh, it was uh, there was relegation battle as well uh, real valladolid and all the teams apart from abar was also fighting for the uh, for to to uh, prevent the relegation uh, from la liga so that was interesting in my opinion and went down the wire um, the the la liga title race uh, also very interesting it went into the last 90 minutes of uh, the last game of the last game week uh, uh, atletico madrid and real madrid was uh, were fighting for uh, the title and it was uh, really really interesting in the last game week uh, and third reason is uh, that there was a battle of uh, Europa League uh, spot between Real Sociedad and Real Real Betis and Villarreal and that went in uh, on uh, on the wire as well so that in my opinion was uh, the factors that's why i have given a four star rating it was and the, re- the that's why the league uh, was uh, really interesting until the very end I could have uh, given five stars, uh, but uh, there is a reason that I have given four star. Why I have, given, I have not given uh, five stars is uh, basically that uh, Atletico Madrid won the league with 86 points. Uh, in my opinion, uh, impressive. All credit to Atletico Madrid for winning the league, but uh, winning the 86 with 86 points uh, is uh, not that impressive. And the same is the case uh, that I basically explained earlier for Manchester City as well. Uh, in my opinion, Atletico Madrid basically took the advantage of uh, Real Madrid with all the injuries. For the season and also uh, took the advantage of Barcelona. I mean, I think they are a distorted team. So a lot of improvements are required. Uh, the, uh, the president was uh, changed and uh, a lot of financial problems uh, for both Real Madrid and Barcelona. And Atletico Madrid uh, took uh, the advantage of uh, that. And obviously, Barcelona basically gifted them uh, the number nine that, that they required over the years. That was uh, the, basically the missing uh, part um, of uh, of uh, what they wanted to achieve. And uh, they basically gifted Barcelona gifted Luis Suarez with that committed and that was exactly required but that committed a player that can give them uh, 20 plus goal and this is exactly what uh, uh, Suarez uh, did uh, for Atletico Madrid. So overall, league was very impressive, and I'm hoping uh, that uh, uh, this is this is uh, that it's going to be the same case uh, next season around as well. So four stars out of five for La Liga. So guys, this was it. We had a. Uh, uh, we had a review of all the four, uh, top uh, five uh, European leagues. Uh, I gave uh, the ratings uh, to all the leagues. Uh, make sure that uh, you uh, let me know in the comment section if you agree with uh, my ratings, star ratings, and if you if you don't agree, please let me know what star ratings you uh, you would have given uh, to all the leagues. Uh, so, guys, uh, I, I guess this is it. Please make sure that uh, if you like the video, if you enjoyed the video, like uh, the video, make sure that you subscribe the channel so that you can get updated whenever a uh, new video is uploaded whenever we are doing a live watch uh, live watch along so that you can uh, uh, you can get updated and you can join me in the live discussion as well so guys this is it as always uh, until next time enjoy and goodbye